Living in the northern Rocky Mountains means having access to an embarrassment of riches for hiking opportunities, except in the winter and early spring months of the year when deep snow prevents all but the most hardy from traveling extensively. But the backpacking bug doesn't go dormant just because of the snow, so by the time April rolls around and the valleys begin to turn green again, the ridiculously optimistic, such as myself, begins scanning the snowtail sites searching for any possible options for outdoor adventures that don't include snow. Inevitably, the eyes are drawn to certain river corridors, such as the Maine Salmon, the Snake, and Selway Rivers, all in Idaho. And I've wondered for years what it would be like to hike along these, whether they would provide an opportunity to satiate the desire to camp on bare ground, or would end up being mirages of misery due to boring closed-in terrain and a nightmare of deep fords across feeder streams. I was about to find out. The Selway River Trail begins at Paradise Ranger Station at the eastern end and cruises downstream for 50 miles. However, since Paradise is located over a rough dirt road that crosses a fairly high pass, access to that trailhead was not guaranteed so early in the year. So my hiking buddy Chris and I planned to hike out and back from the ending trailhead at Race Creek, culminating in a visit to the historic and remote Moose Creek Ranger Station with its very active backcountry airfield. The drive to this trailhead is an adventure in itself, over 20 miles of dirt road and passing another historic ranger establishment, the Fenn Ranger Station, constructed in 1937 and listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and the always impressive Selway Falls.
wish it was easy every day I'd like that better Wish you'd forgotten what to say That's not your kind So I pick apart my time Never asking why I'm always in So many pieces and hits My fault Get along little doggy Get along with me Ooh, it's time you face the fact that you can't remember The in-between So pick apart my time Never asking why I'm always in A million pieces And I don't want to admit It's always what I get And I don't want to Take the blame But it's My fault Wish it was easy every day Cause I'd like that better So I pick apart my time Never asking why I'm always in A million places at once I've never had Enough to let you add Your thoughts On how I think I change My fault
After 15 miles and perhaps a thousand feet overall of elevation gain, as the trail bumps up and down the side hills following the river, we made it to the Moose Creek Ranger Station and its two-strip airfield perched high on a plateau above the river. We arrived just in time to witness one of the rugged bush planes taking off from the grass field. The station itself is a collection of pristine worker cabins in one of the most beautiful and remote settings in the lower 48 states. With permission from the very kind volunteer caretaker, we made dinner on the porch of one cabin with a breeze picking up. As daylight was fading, we ate quickly and set up camp, too tired to do much filming. Next morning, dawn stunning and cold. Chris decided to pack up quickly and hit the trail in order to warm up, planning for me to catch up when he stopped for a late breakfast. I ate a quick cold breakfast in camp, but then spent an hour mesmerized by the attractiveness of this station. By the time I pulled myself away, I was nearly two hours behind Chris. I wouldn't see him again until we got back to the truck at the end of the trail. Fortunately, we were in contact through our in-reach devices, so we knew each other were okay.
Good, how you doing? So you tell me this Craig Adams does videos on his trips and they're all music? Yeah, pretty much just music and no, no walk, talking. Walking away from the camera. So. No talking. Not much. Huh. Oh, oh no, at the end. There's oh, always talking at, at the end. At the end there's a little wrap up? Yeah, he has like a, uh, like he's back in his office or something and he kind of talks about the trip. And, it's little map bits up there and sometimes talks about what he had with him. Do we have to do map bits or can we just talk about the trip? We can just talk about the trip. Okay. Yeah. That was a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good trip. That was, uh, I have to say I've done a lot of trails along rivers with high hopes and then disappointed because the trail got up far away from the river and you hardly ever saw it. But this one, oh man. It was down along the river like 70% of the time, it seemed like. It was pretty. Yeah. It was up and down, up and down. Yeah. Right. I would say that anybody who's expecting just kind of a casual river walk, I'm not sure if this would be the trip for them, though, because that second half is there's definitely... A little more strenuous ups and, downs. ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's worth it. It's, you know, the payoff for those ups and downs is you get up above the, the river and then you see the, the whole valley. Right. So, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Moose Creek Ranger Station was just shocking to me that it was up on that butte instead of I expected it to be a wide meadow that would just open up but uh, yeah climbing up from the river to that was pretty cool 
and beautiful cabins. That's why it took me so long to get going yesterday because I would spend so much time taking pictures of the cabins. It would be cooler if it wasn't at the very end of the 15 mile way. <laughs> when you want to be done. Right? So, you were less in awe. Yeah, I was than like, just, uh, where's the bed? I was just thankful that there was water there and that the uh, ranger was cool as was expected to come. So the chief of security, his dog, yeah. uh, like this. Right. So, Black lab, can't go wrong. Really old black lab. And that there was water there, that helped a lot. Yeah. Didn't have to hike back to the river. Yeah. That uh, Bellinger Creek looked like a really great place to camp. Uh, Pincho, uh, that, very popular with the boaters, but it was an enormous area of possibility. Uh, stretched way out along the river, so that could have worked. Yeah, there were plenty of campsites the whole way, and we crossed water so often I never had yeah. 0.7 of a liter at the most with me at any time, and it was like yeah. never an issue. Yeah. It was pretty nice. I, I usually suck at that, of tracking the water sources and just end up carrying two full liters all the time, but I didn't this time. Same thing, with so much water available, it was nice to lighten the load a little bit that way. Yeah. So I'm going to say it was 50 miles. I have no idea. So that um, the guy at the uh, ranger station said that when people have GPS using a continuous GPS as they go, that he says they claim it's 28 miles. Huh. So, and mine clearly shows less than that, but it was doing that sampling like every 10 minutes, hmm. which obviously cuts out a lot of detail. So right. I don't really know. Yeah. Okay. It was a lot of miles. 50. <laughs> 50 sounds good. At least 50. 50 sounds fine to me. Yeah, that's pretty good for uh, really three and a half. We're back here before 11. There is something magical about getting an early start though. Those first couple hours, the miles just fly by, I think. I'll tell you, I mean, if I'm traveling by myself, um, the idea of like getting up, throwing everything in the camp, you know, and then just taking off and then having breakfast on trail is so much nicer. Mm. It really is. Mm -hmm. Because that whole like huddling around mm -hmm. the cold in the morning while you're cooking stuff, and it just sucks, <laughs> you know, when it's really cold. Because <laughs> this morning I was able to, I, I timed it because I was just curious, I packed everything up casually in 23 minutes huh? and just jetted out of there. And I was like, because I could like just take off right away, I mean, I was wearing shorts pretty oh. much the whole time. Really? Just, wow. like, took off. Yeah. That's the, the thing for me about taking off in the morning is the misery of switching into what I expect to be wearing on the trail because it's freezing when you first do it and yeah. you know first half hour till you warm up. It's not bad if you just get moving. Yeah. You said something about a cheeseburger, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.